I know people are under pressure and the reason we, we talk about these things is because people are absolutely under pressure. One thing to bear in mind is, it is we're watching the fall of an empire. As, as we speak, the empire is falling. So there's a, there's a balancing act that I'm having to do and, and it's, <clears throat> it's probably why I'm feeling a bit unwell at the moment because of the hours we're putting in and that is what comes after the empire falls. Mm-hmm. And, and I've, I've said this on other calls, and Ron, you know this, we've, we've spoken about this. My, my biggest concern isn't the dirty tricks they're doing. It's not having a valid alternative, not having a completed model. Right. Because in history, I, I can't find anyone doing that properly. I wish I could, but it's just not normal. Yes? That's true. So it's good to know how tricky and how... Um, shoddy and dodgy they've become but but truly people are waking up you go and talk to your neighbors and maybe a year ago they'd laugh at you as a crackpot but now they'll ask you a question what do you think about this you know people are waking up that have never heard about eucadia people are waking up without any help in fact they're waking up in spite of the flu ride and everything else so the question isn't that the system will come to an end, it is what will replace it. And at this point, that requires really a, 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 a number, at least a central number of people who have read, prepared, know who they are, and are ready to dive into these communities as they come on stream, which I know we're still waiting for, and are willing to participate in taking stewardship of the model. Because I'm still sticking to the, the fact that at the end of this year, I cease to be in the trenches of doing and I merely become a visitor. That's all. Right. Uh, Thanks, Ron. Terry, can I have one more comment? Yes. Okay. Frank, when I um, was doing some further research on the the birth certificate issue, well, they call it the certificate of live birth, okay? Um, A thought occurred to me that each child is born on the soil of some sovereign state, you know, state of California, which is the republic, or the state of Washington, the republic. So how how does the District of Columbia, which is a purely a corporation with only territories, how do they gain jurisdiction over the entire country? That's the issue. Well, okay. What's what's a what's an order that is renewed every year since the time of Lincoln? Oh, right, the uh, that military proclamation order. Okay, and what does that mean effectively? What's suspended effectively because of that? Oh, the Constitution, everything's suspended. It's That's a military right. law. Okay, and what and what is um and and what was the first use of the word hospital? Is it a civil term or a military term? Oh, it's military. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, is there any way what? Hmm? Is, is there any way to break that nexus? Yes. Yes, and I'm I'm trying it by the way, but um yes, yes there is. Um have you ever heard the knowledge or the truth shall set you what free? Free? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, the knowledge is coming. People are waking up. People are starting to behave competently now. Uh, we have alternatives and we're consuming. So, yes. But in the short term, we go back to the issue. You go to court, you mention any of this. You mention that order or you even talk about the flag being a military flag. What's a judge, given what we've just described, going to do? <laughs> in my case or somebody else's? <laughs> well, so you've, you've got enough experience. From... Evaluation. Well, exactly. Exactly. So let's let's keep in mind that, that our knowledge collectively has gone well beyond the competency of the present system. Oh, absolutely. And, and it's, it's, it's how we then use this responsibility because we are representing the law. We are representing the law and must act accordingly and, and must prepare for the changes that are occurring. But, Ron, I think it's all grist for the mill. It's all good to know. But uh, short of change, short of what's coming, um, I think it's just 
survival for many people. Just survive and certainly don't make yourself a target. Mm, I think I'm already a target. <laughs> <laughs> well, make yourself then, if you are a target, make yourself a formidable target then, Ron. <laughs> well, I, I, I have the, the most powerful weapon in the universe, and that's the divine creator, right? Yes, you do, Ron. If, and uh, everyone does. That's right. Yeah. Good on you. Bye. Bye. Hi, right, Terry, are you there? Oh. Yeah, hi, Frank. Oh, hi. This is Bob from Washington State. Uh, hi, Bob. This kind of falls in line with Ron's question. Uh, you were talking about public and private and all that, and it, uh, just over a lot of the stuff I read over the years, uh, it appears to me that they've, uh, this so-called democracy we're under, they mask, they exercise is as public, but it is private, and it appears that that's where the, uh, the Roman cult, or whatever you want to call it, entered through through the United States Corporation into this democracy. I, I yep. know how you were talking to Ron about it, it probably doesn't matter, but it seems to me like that's how they certainly got control, because that's uh, before the in a republic the way editors didn't, they couldn't even have attorneys. Yes. And that got all turned around and everything else. And that that was basically my statement and question, but I had a document here also from Dun & Bradstreet that right on it says, uh, the Judiciary Courts of the State of Washington, it says, Temple of Justice, Olympia, Washington. And uh, I was just curious on that, if you thought that that's how it was done, is they entered it through the democracy, changing the form of so-called government. They declare it to be public and it's not at all private. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, and there are many, many tricks that they've done along the way. One was the state of emergency and then standing orders. Another is the um, the concept of the the, the birth and uh, creating wards of hospitals. I mean, they've done many, many layers of control. But probably the one that I think is the most brilliant is when you look at Eucadia and you look at the structure, you know, the capacity of one motivated spirit is extraordinary today. And you know yourself, if you've been motivated to do something, you can achieve great things, yes? I agree. So what is the thing that they want to continue to promote amongst highly motivated intelligent, and I, I pay you this compliment, intelligent people out there. What do they want intelligent people and competent or motivated people to do? Keep reading the past stuff. <laughs> yeah, keep they want talking. to keep you focusing on, on 9-11, focusing right. on rabbit holes, focusing on the evil, and, and really spending no time on solving it. Because what do they give you every four years? What do they offer you every four years? Uh, I guess you're referring to an election. That's right. It's a, basically a, a democratic revolution, isn't it? It's an overthrow of a government, literally. But right. Yeah. Yeah. Controlled, yeah. yeah? And yeah. what do they want? What do they want the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who've woken up not to do? Where do they want to put them in their mindset? They want to keep them under control. And, and if, you, if you're an intelligent person that's going through looking at all the terrible things they've done, I assure you there is so much material you can spend literally the rest of your life thinking that you can expose this to the public and getting absolutely nowhere. Yeah? I agree. I've been doing that. So what we're trying to do is there's a certain amount of knowledge that you need to, to wake up and thereafter it's about... How do we fix it? How do we change it? Yeah? Uh, I was just curious because uh, I wondered if there could be a connection with what I was saying in the EDP. Because I, 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 I quit paying my payments at the court in January. And yeah. normally they'll suspend your license in not long. In fact, when I first got, the, got it issued, I didn't pay. And 
it didn't take him a week, ten days yep. to send me a letter. Uh, I haven't received anything after I filed the EDP. I, I still could, but it just, I don't know if it's a mistake or what, but they haven't notified me, they haven't done anything, they haven't suspended my license. Well, filed look, the EDP in December. There, there's a lot of things that are happening around it, and I, I want to keep going with the questions, but I also want to answer your, your points, because I I would say this to people, if I had the time, I would love to be able to spend the time with everyone and answer their questions. But yes, there are. Um, uh, there could well be, but I don't want to sort of say absolutely, could well be the EDP process has contributed. But, you know, the exciting thing, if I can just round this off with, with you, the exciting thing is that is that you are seeing beyond just the problem and you're looking at the solution. And that's the exciting part. If we can get people focusing on the solution and not sitting around complaining about how awful it is, because it is, let's get on and change it. Let's fix it. Let's use every tool available, especially our in intelligence and our ability to communicate and, and cooperate. Let's fix things. And they're going to do dodgy things. They're going to do tricky things. But once we become competent, we become the most feared thing to them. They don't want competent people. They're scared of competent people. And they're certainly scared of ecclesiastical deed polls. So thanks very much. Thank you, Frank. Good on you. All right, very good, Frank. And uh, thank you for those questions and comments. Um, back to the chat, the chat line here, uh, chat room. There is a question about, I don't know if you saw it uh, during the week at all, Frank, about uh, EDP paperwork getting sent to the Department of Homeland Security. Do you have uh, any thoughts or response as to why they would send uh, the EDP paperwork to the Department of Homeland Security? Well, Homeland Security is almost a purely ecclesiastical department now. I mean, you've seen the uniforms and you've seen their behaviour. So there is more to the ecclesiastical um, nature of Homeland Security. And the other one is, um, because we're dealing with a certain intellect, it's entirely possible as well that they view it as a knee-jerk reaction, that they simply switch it across and it's their way of um, just saying, we're off, without telling you where within Homeland Security and what they're doing, that uh, you're going to a department that's infamous for no-fly lists of um, <laughs> mums and dads. Um, so I honestly can't tell you the, the intricacies of it, but I do know that Homeland Security as a department has a, um, a very strong ecclesiastical private side to it. And, uh, of course, if they don't act on it, and we spoke tonight that they can't, act on it. There is no remedy to baptism. There is no remedy to CQVs. They can't. Then they probably put it there um, for safekeeping. I, I, beyond that, Terry, I, I can't tell you because I don't know the deeper meaning yet of why they've done that. Clearly they have yeah. a procedure, but I don't know yet. Whether it's intimidation or to move to that department for investigative reasons or whatever they're doing, it's, it's hard to tell at this, at this point in time. All right, just a reminder for the callers on the phone lines, if you press star 8, if you have a question, you'll get placed in the question uh, queue. And uh, the next question, Frank, is what is the gain to use the EIN number um, if one is received from the IRS? And we talked about the, uh, well, yeah, the, the EIN number. The, the, in their system, I mean, this is an issue that gets raised um, quite a bit. And, and the question is, how do I still live when I'm dependent on aspects of integrating with their society? And until the currency is flowing, until communities can be self-sufficient to some degree in terms of energy and goods and services, then people um, need to trade. And so one of the questions people say is, well, how, how do I get free of the clutches of the IRS in terms of um, income tax and, and, and start using my trust. Well, the EIN gives you an ability to, to trade in the trust number. And so a number of things an EIN will allow you to do is go and set up a bank account. 
for your trust. And that's 